guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Zuri. A lot of you guys requested to see more of her, so I thought we'd do a little video with her. I think the only video I've done with her so far is her box opening, so definitely need to change her up. Um, it snowed here last night. I didn't know it was gonna snow. So I wanna put her in a cozier outfit because she looks cold, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna change her and then I wanted to talk to you guys. I'm sure you guys read the title and are like, what's happening? So obviously, as you guys know, we are in a pandemic and so a lot of places are closed that are not essential and of those places are nail salons. And as you guys know, I always have super long nails and I get them done like once a month because you have to maintain long nails and me and my sister like to do dip nail polish and that's also something you have to get redone pretty frequently to get the best results and keep your nails looking good. And so with the nail salons closed, it has been like well over a month that I have gotten my nails done. So last night, Kristen wanted to remove her nail polish. So we took some acetone and we were like scrubbing it off and it started taking off mine and I didn't want to take mine off. So, um, I was getting very upset because they were ruined and I wasn't able to keep them on. So we ended up having to take uh, all of my nail polish off and then uh, we put on press-on fake nails. So these are, these are press-on nails. I already lost one actually. <laughs> um, here, I don't know if you can see that. I already lost one. Ooh, it does not want to focus on my nails. I wouldn't either. It's bad. It wants to focus on Zuri. There we go. Yeah, I already lost a pinky, but these are press-on nails. My real nails were actually longer than this, but we cut them because you have to have shorter nails for the press-ons because my nails would have been longer than the press-ons. And they were my real nails. Um, and I cut them. This is like the shortest they've literally ever been in years. They're all like this short and then I just have press-ons. I'm trying not to think about how bad my nails look underneath this, but even the press-ons are bad. Like some of them are really crooked because um, if you put them on wrong, like you can't fix it. So a lot of them I put on badly and then we couldn't fix them. And also a lot of them just don't fit my nails. So I'm really sad that they're like this. I mean, they look okay from afar, but up close it's bad. I mean, they look like what I would actually get done with nail polish, which is why I picked this. You guys know I like to get sparkly nails. My nails are usually around this shape. That's why I picked these ones, because they really suit me, and that's what I like to get done. But I'm just so sad because my nails are like ruined underneath, and I just really want a nail salon to open back up so I can fix these. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my sad news. I'm so upset. Last night I was really, really upset. I was like, I was having a, a breakdown over my nails. I know that sounds ridiculous, but like, you guys know I have so much pride in my nails. So, <laughs> it was a really sad time for me, especially cutting them. Oh my God, that was so sad. So right now I'm putting her in this sleeper from Carter's. It's really cute. It's a light baby pink and it has little like roses all over it with blue stems. So I'm putting this blue sweater over it. I used to, like not put my babies in sleepers very often, but recently I have been because I like to put um, sweaters over top and I never used to do that either. And I don't know why, because I really like how it looks. So I've started doing that more and I feel like they just look so cozy, like with a sweater over their sleeper. I think that rolled up her sleeve. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. So she has this little navy blue sweater over her sleeper. Aw, look at her in the little hood. I do have, a pacifier, or, well I do have a pacifier, but I have a headband. This is actually the same one she was wearing. I think it matches still, so we're gonna put it back on. Love her hair, so pretty, you guys. Look at that hair, Ugh, it's amazing. And for anyone wondering, this is the Billy kit by Adri Stoetti, and she was painted by Holly Paz, and she's a prototype baby, she's so cute. If you haven't seen my collection video, I talk about all my babies, who their artists are, and all that um, in that video. So if you ever have any questions about like what kits my babies are, who painted them, that video is definitely your go-to because that has all the information right there. Oh, and then the pacifier I picked, I don't know if it totally matches. I mean, I thought that the light blue pacifier would kind of match the light blue of the flowers, but the clip doesn't totally match your outfit, but the clip matches the pacifier. I don't know, we're just gonna put it on. I'm gonna attach it on here. Recently I've liked 
adding like a pacifier on a clip to my babies. Why am I struggling? I don't know, I feel like it spices up the outfit, you know what I mean? I have so many of these, I love these. These are the um, Ryan and Rose Cutie Pats. I have a bunch of different um, colors. They are kind of expensive, but recently I've been um, like getting them when they have deals. I know like last month they had a deal where it was like um, buy one get one free on all of the spring colors so I ordered a bunch of the spring colors and so I got a bunch from that and I also like to order the mystery pack so you can uh, they'll give you a it's like a discount you'll get a pacifier and a matching clip but you don't know what it looks like um, it's a surprise but they're cheaper to get both of them and like they only come to you would only get a pacifier and clip that come together you couldn't get like just a pacifier but I think you can get just a clip I don't know but they do like surprise packs and they're cheaper so I like to get those too so it is kind of a hit or miss sometimes you get colors you don't really want but I actually have been able to match every pacifier I have with outfits so I don't know the surprise ones I think are worth it as long as like you get one that you really like so I like to do that but um yeah they are kind of expensive but um, they work for like every outfit. They're my favorite pacifiers now and like I have clips that match all of them So I really like it. Um, I highly recommend them. They sell some of them at Target only like the basic colors like the black white gray This blue and a light pink and they sell some clips, but then they have more colors online more clips online um, They have teethers. They have all kinds of different things. This is, this is not sponsored. I just love their pacifiers Yeah this video is kind of all over the place here. We'll give her this to her little bunny back. <laughs> she looks so cute, you guys. So here's Miss Zuri. I need to post pictures with her because, I don't know, I feel like I haven't taken many pictures of her. She's so sweet. Look at that face. So, yeah. Uh, make sure to follow my Instagram at kellymaplyt and at Little Mouse Nursery. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye! <laughs>